morning guys, it's Sergey from Crystal Freediving and today I'm going to talk about lung overexpansion injury into the free, in the freediving. So, um, lung overexpansion injury. It's, it doesn't happen that often in freediving, uh, let's say compared to the scuba diving. I used to be a scuba diving instructor so I can easily explain you if you don't know what is a lung overexpansion injury. For example, if you if you're a scuba diver and you breathe in compressed air, uh, all the time, doesn't matter how deep you are, your lungs have same same size, same volume. And then, for example, you are 10 meter deep, uh, this is your lungs, and then you hold your breath, for whatever reason you decide to hold your breath, and then you're coming up. And now you're coming up, and because pressure, uh, the deeper you are, the pressure is bigger, and the shallower you are, the pressure is uh, smaller. So, and if you're coming from 10 meters, your lungs is going to expand and this is what can cause lung overexpansion, lungs overexpansion injury. This is a, what can happen in a scuba diving. This is why all scuba diving instructors uh, teach really well the first rule of scuba diving, never hold your breath. And if as a free diver, as a free diver, we do completely opposite, we hold our breath. And theoretically, lung overexpansion injury uh, couldn't happen in a free diving because you diving with like you don't breathe compressed air when you're going down your lungs compressing and then when you coming up your lungs coming back to its normal size so there is no risk of lung over expansion injury but uh, there are a few stupid mistakes which can be done mistake number one you free diving in some dive sites, on some dive sites, you see another scuba diver, might be your friend. And then you come to him, say hello, maybe make a selfie, and then maybe he can suggest you alternative air source, and you breathe in, say bye bye, and start coming up. And this is a problem. As soon as you breathe in at least one breath, from the compressed air, uh, compressed air from the scuba tank, then you becoming a scuba diver. And now you have to behave as a scuba diver. It means really slow ascent. The ascent rate for scuba divers not faster than 18 meters per minute, which is super slow for free divers. Um, and also you need continuously breathing to making sure that your lungs coming back to its normal size. Okay. So this is, can be mistake number one. The second mistake, I personally never saw that someone doing like this, but recently I have, uh, I have a questions from, from a couple of people and they were suggesting this idea, like why not to combine scuba diving and free diving? Let's say you, you're taking small scuba tank like this, uh, we call it pony tank, it's really small. And then you do uh, your free dive, you reach your desirable depths, uh, and then you start breathing from the small tanks, and when it's over, then you start to come up. There are a few problems with this. First of all, decompression sickness. We're not going to talk about decompression sickness in this video. But the second problem is a lung overexpansion injury. If you breathe in compressed air, your lungs going to be normal size, and then when you're coming up, the lung going to have a, the lungs going to be like bigger than its normal size, and this is what lung overexpansion injuries. So guys, really dangerous. Really, really recommend not to do it ever. Um, and again, there are few bad examples. Let's let's say uh, maybe a few months ago in a Facebook. It was a discussion. Uh, it was a discussion that one girl, she was free diving, and then she saw a scuba diver, and for whatever reason, scuba diver suggests her alternative air source. Uh, she's she breathed in, and she come up to the surface, and then she has some symptoms, or it it was probably decompression sickness or lung overexpansion injury. Luckily, it was not that big, so she was she was fine but again it can be big problem okay so please guys don't do that don't combine freediving and scuba diving in the same day 
or even more dangerous like in the same dive if you're free diving then if you're free diving on your way down then you'll shoot free dive on your way up not like changing like you're going down without tank and then you find the tank so don't do this maybe you saw it in some Hollywood movie don't do that okay enjoy both activities but don't combine them in the same day